In school, I feel like it's always a bit awkward. Um, you have a random nurse come in, yeah. she like puts a condom and, like, on a fake willy and everyone's like, Ooh! Point blank, did you have an LGBTQ plus education in school? No. Absolutely not. Definitely not. What about you? No. We had the typical PE teacher sex ed lesson. Okay. Basically, don't have sex, you'll get pregnant. Um, STIs are bad. LGBTQ, I don't think anything. I think it wasn't even touched upon in schools. It was all just the basics um, of like straight sex, putting on a condom, and that's it. See, I didn't look up like sex ed, I just looked up like sex. Right. So <laughs> it was a bit of a. <laughs> a rough start to the beginning. Yeah. My straight friends um, were kind of a lot more active than I was, so I just like learned what like what they were doing, but without the dick, that kind of thing. <laughs> I was really, I don't want to say slow, but slow on sex. Like it, it was something that. I mean, sorry mum and dad, but it was never talked about in my house. It wasn't talked about in school either, especially, yeah, in like same sex, like, um, kind of terms. I spoke to a lot of friends and even colleagues mm. about it. Really awkward questions, but questions that I wouldn't have known from school mm. or that I needed answers to, but I wouldn't know where to go to get them. The way I found out was through like YouTube and stuff. I think it would have put my mind at ease a lot more if I knew because I would have felt more comfortable because I think I remember when I went into my first kind of sexual experiences, I was like, well, what if that YouTube video was wrong? <laughs> what if I'm doing this wrong? I literally had to Google what bisexuality was and I typed in, I was like, I think I might be bisexual. And then all these results came up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> the big question is always, how do lesbians have sex? Right? People like never realize that like toys exist or like are involved a lot of the time. Tell people what you like and what you don't like. Yeah. Because then you won't have to fake orgasms for years. And it's just not fun. It's so much easier if you feel like things are getting serious with someone, you want to enjoy your sex life with that person. Yeah. You want it to be fun. You don't want to have to, don't be nervous to say things, because I was for yeah. ages. They never showed us a dental dam. Like, I had to just kind of like, I don't even know how I learned what that was, but I would have no idea where to go and get one. You should always try and use protection where you can, but if you don't know about what protection is out there for you and your like sexual identity, you're just I lost. Mean, yeah. Learning about PrEP, it was, it, it's a drug that majorly re reduces the risk of HIV. And learning about that as a gay man was so important. What would have helped you in school with queer education? Firstly, anything at all. Just any, just talking about it, mentioning that gay people exist in general. Don't have it as them and us. Make yeah. it like sex is sex is a, a topic, but it includes so much variety. Gay people are going to have sex, whether you like it or not. If you don't give them the, edu the education on how to be safe, on how to prep, all you're doing is just like increasing the danger and increasing their chances of having like traumatic experiences with it. It, it shouldn't be stigmatised and I think schools could definitely do more to make sure of that. Now that prep has become such a, a good drug and a, a good um, form of protection against certain diseases, it's, it should 100% be taught in schools because it's, it's going to save lives, it's going to help people. You never know if there's someone in that class that does need that advice and as long as you're having safe, consensual sex with either a man or a woman or multiple partners or anything, just use contraception, stay safe and as long as everyone's happy, that's what should be taught. That's the bottom line really I think. It's really important to teach people that it's okay to say I don't like that, like don't do that and like that it's fine to like have your boundaries. And also have sex with yourself. Yes. Have sex with yourself because... I don't think that's talked about a lot. No. Masturbation. Yeah. Guys. It happens have a, all the time. Have a, have a fiddle. <laughs>